Hello friends, welcome to my new community project. In this video series, I'm going to work through an online student or a school management app. Uh, this is going to be a community project. So what that means that it's going to be completely free for you. And you can set up this online education app in your private cloud. You can make an iOS app, Android app, totally up to you, or you can make a progressive web app. Um, this app, I assume that you have a fundamental understanding how to build application on Angular and Firebase. Um, but uh, because it's not a typical to-do list or to-do list tutorial, so you should have some understanding about the Angular. But I'm not expecting to, an, uh, to you to be an expert on this Angular Firebase. As long as you know the fundamentals a little bit, you should be fine. Uh, by end of this uh, series, so, you know, I'm going to include the link to this uh, my GitHub repository to this video description so you can download the entire source code um, free, you know, without any cost, without any licensing issue. You can also make corrections, add, update, or remove existing pages as per your business requirement. So in follow-up videos, I'm going to show you, you know, I'm going to walk you through the entire code so that, you know, you can make the corrections. Before I start, I want to quickly, you know, tell you that this app is built in latest Angular version and let us Firebase. I'm going to use Google Firestore to be precisely. Uh, and um, uh, like what I mean by latest Angular that you know right now the version is 7.2.15 and I already see that Angular 8 is coming uh, sometime later this month or maybe next month. So I'm going to um, use the latest Angular version. Uh, and it also depends on you know when you're watching this video. So whenever the new Angular versions come, so um, I'm not going to update this video, but I will make sure to update my GitHub repository. So you can always find the latest code here at my GitHub repository. Um, again, you can, um, you know, this is an MIT style license. You can download the entire source code free. But however, I will really appreciate if you can just give me a star here, follow me at the GitHub, or, you know, just give me a thumbs up. Let's get it started. So um, I want to quickly walk you through what this app does. First of all, it's not a traditional client servers kind of app, like, you know, where you um, record, uh, keep the records for your students or their fees and et cetera, these, you know, it's a modern online app. And what do, you, what do I mean by modern online app is that, um, you know, nowadays it's not like, uh, you know, students interact with the schools live. So, for example, as soon as like, you know, you receive the fee or, you know, a grade or scores are posted on a test for the student, the parents or the student want to see a live update. So what I mean by that, uh, let me show you a quick demo. So first of all, as you can see, um, this is the default, like, you know, you should be able to, the, this is the student login page. So again, user can, you know, student or parents can log in and check their profile, their marks and scores and their fees. They can also, you know, check the online homework, you know, tutorial classes, etc. by the time, you know, so if you click on this one, as you can see, everything is locked. You cannot go there anywhere because the routes are secured. Um, so the user has to log in with the Google. Uh, one more thing I want to mention here. Um, so there are a lot of new features I included in this app. And you are going to see like, you know, for example, this app works for the small, medium, and very large schools. So for example, in Firebase, I have personally, I have stored you know, for one of my client, I, I stored like, you know, of approximately half a million records. And, you know, this, this just works very fine, you know, no performance issues at all. So it can handle a very large um, transactions. And uh, also I've included a role-based security structure. So for example, as you can see, this is the app, but this app is actually totally role-based. So for example, the same app is going to work um, if you are a student, parent, teacher, or school management. You will see that in a minute what I mean by that. But it's totally, you know, role-based security structure uh, I implemented in this one. And um, uh, one more thing out, it's very live, you know, the reason, that's the reason I, I choose this um, Firebase and Angular because, you know, it's an, uh, it, it changes the state very frequently and it's very easy to send you the live notification. So, for example, let me just uh, click on this update profile. Let me go to the login. Update. Close. 
now it should work okay sorry i didn't click the update button so as you can see the menu changes immediately the reason the menu changes because now i am logged in as an admin and as you can see the live notification that's what i was referring to so you know depending on the user login you will receive the live notification and let me show you what this live notification is so for example if school management or your teacher post a new score or if you know school management you know receive a new fee you can just immediately see okay the new fee is posted on your account please review the fee register so students should still you know they can go and uh, always check the fee uh, that you know what the fee has been uh, uh, paid for their account and uh, they will see only their transactions they are not going to see everybody else's fees so if you are logged in as a uh, student you will see only your fee if you are logged in as a staff a school management uh, or an admin you will see everybody else's fees um okay one last thing so as soon as you know um, suppose you are a student and you know you your fee is paid you will receive you know a live notification here same thing goes for the tutorial so for example an online tutorial has been posted and the good thing is so for example if you if you have a class uh, you have you have a grade and there are 40 students in grade 2 you have 30 students and if you if you post a tutorial for the grade 1 so all, all the grade 1 students are going to see you know see this notification so um, i'll show you in later part of the videos that how you can implement those kind of functionalities as well but let me just quickly walk you through so uh, again you know this is the admin login so as you can can see admin can see everything admin can set up the students and they, they can post their marks and fees let me show you a quick demo so for example so admin what i can do i'm not going to in, uh, you know you can search for the student you can always add a new student here and um, there are a lot of information you can capture in the student for example the student id password father's name mother's name you know all their different addresses their qualification that you know references uh, whatever and again this thing is like pretty you know it's very user friendly if you want to include more fields please feel free to do that you can i'll show you in later videos how you can uh, make changes and you can include or delete or you know whatever make changes you can add more fields is very easy um one thing i want to mention here that you can you know every student have to have an enrollment code so what this does is like you know suppose this student is in gra grade 1 right now so that's what you know what i mean by that so the advantage of assigning that enrollment code to the student that you know whenever a teacher posts uh, a tutorial for the grade 1 so as long as this student is a grade 1 student he is going to receive this notification second thing is the fee code and uh, mark score i'll show you later what this means um but for now so uh, suppose assume that you add a new student here what you can do you can edit the student record and then you can uh, you know let's go to the fees so for, same thing you know so you can you know pay to the fees uh, pay fees for this student and as soon as you hit the enter you know it's going to you know uh, save that fee for that particular student and the student will get a notification so, uh, just like the fees i want to show you one more thing um let's go to the student management one more time okay now here what you can do here uh, let me go to the marks so for example you know in english you know you can uh, this guy has a score like you know 45 out of 100 is not a very good marks but again just an example so you can as long, you know as soon as a teacher enters the marks or grades or scores for a student um, the student is going to receive that notification and you know the students won't be able to change it only a teacher can change it or only an admin can change it so it's very nice functionality that you know you can maintain all the user grades and scores um also um okay so this is from the you know student management perspective now let's go talk about the online man you know the teacher uh, management so online education so for example uh, oh one thing i forgot to tell you that you know you can also uh, include you can also uh, update user document so for example let's go to this user okay so here you can you know save a lot of documents for the user so for example you know you have a new student and uh, you want to you know uh, keep the previous record of that student so you can include as many files and these files could be a pdf or you know it could be 
PNG image or anything you want to save for that particular student, you can, uh, you know, you can upload the number of uh, files for that particular student. So that's also very nice functionality here. Um, not only the images, not only the student pictures, you can also save uh, student other records. So for example, some other certificates or things like that, whatever you want to save. Okay, now let's go to the teacher. So for example, this is the teacher related functionality. So anybody who is the teacher, and let me show you how, how this GUI changes, okay? So for example, um, uh, anybody can log into this app, but you have to have an organization secret key. And what this is, this is a password. So for example, um, you can say all my staff and you give a password to that staff. And you can say all my parents and you give them a generic password. So generic password doesn't mean that, you know, it give you access to everything. Generic password password is like, you know, the, it will make you a staff member. But again, you need to have a passcode before you can make, you know, start making actual corrections. Um, and one more thing I want to imply here. So suppose, uh, you know, you have like hundreds of students using this app. So you have one password for 100 students. And tomorrow you change your mind, you can just make changes to, you know, you just change the password at once and all the students will be signed out. So it's, you know, is that user friendly? It's a very nice functionality that, you know, uh, suppose your password is hacked or for some reason, you know, you, um, you start a new session in your um, organizations or a school or whatever, then, you know, you want to have, you know, issue a new password for everyone. So you can very quickly do that. And I'll show you in later videos how you can do that. Um, okay, next thing is, so I'm going to, you know, this is an admin in this case, because I know um, this particular user, I have signed in at myself and I'm an admin here. So admin can do everything even. So let's go set up a homework. So whenever I'm trying to set up a new homework, first thing I need the homework code and the enrollment code. So that's how I know. So for example, this homework is for the grade one student or grade two student. Even you can go like, you know, define grade two uh, and you can go to the subject wise. So you, there's a, no limit how many enrollment code you can set up. So for example, for grade one, I can set up five different enrollment codes by subject. So for example, English or you know math or geography, things like that. So suppose I go for grade one and geography subject, I, uh, you know, I, I created a new homework, okay? And that's, you know, your homework is gonna look like this. So it will have the homework and you can also include a file. So this is this could be a PDF or it could be a Word document. So whatever homework you upload here, same functionality the teacher can do. They can set up a tutorial, classes, or even the live test. So let me show you what this live test is. So for example, um, for this assignment, I uploaded a new assignment and I uploaded the assignment in a Google form. So you can upload the document here. And as soon as you upload, your, you know, your, all the students who are in this enrollment class, they are going to receive a notification that new assignment has been uploaded, uploaded by your teacher. So that's the functionality. Uh, and again, you can update, you know, create more pages or things like that. Um, okay, so this is from the teacher perspective, manage students, I talked about this. These two are the user, um, the student icons here. So for example, so I'm a student. So when the student is gonna log in, he's gonna see only the view and online pages. So the students, you see the difference, students will not have access to um, update that. So for example, in this case, as you can see, I posted an assignment for a different class. So the user is not, the student is not seeing anything. So let's go, um, okay, I'm trying to find an example. So for example, uh, you know, so I, I post something for this particular student. So user will, so you, student will see assignments only which, only for the classes which he's enrolled in, okay. Okay, what else? Let's see if I'm trying to find some case here. Okay, I have to upload some data. I think, uh, uh, you know, once I upload the data, you will see that, okay that a student is able to see their uh, assignments, okay? Now let's go uh, see the, from the student perspective, the student can view his profile, see that? But the student, there's no update link. User, a student is not able to, won't be able to change the, any, you know, anything. The student can't even upload a file. If you want, you can, you know, give a functionality where the student can upload a file, uh, but totally up to you, okay? Same thing goes for the marks and fees. So students or parents can see the marks 
but they cannot change it. So for example, they can see that this new grades have been posted for this particular uh, student. So user, you know, students will be able to see that. Um, so again, there's a lot of different UIs here. It's a very, comp you know, it's a complex code, but I, you know, once I walk you through the entire code, you will see, I try to make it very simple. But there are a lot of things, new things to learn. Uh, one more thing I included is like, you know, for example, in a school, you want to manage your staff. So same thing like students, you can manage your employees, give them salary, create voucher expenses, set up salary code, very simple thing. So for example, for this school, um, all your teachers are employees. So you can set up your employees here, uh, just like the students records you, you know, I get, just include this functionality. You know, if you don't want to use it, just ignore that. But I, I, I you know, I want to include that functionality that, you know, you can, um, you know, you can keep all your employee related information into the same application and you can even pay them salary. So for example, you know, you want to pay them this much salary, you know, you can maintain all that information here. And, uh, you know, your teacher won't be able to see that. Only you can create as many roles. So suppose you create a role, it's called a staff. So only staff will have access to this menu. Staff will not be able to see everything else. Same thing goes for the teacher. Teacher will see only their, um, uh, you know, only the setup for the homework classes and examination. They won't be able to see the other stuff here. So, um, okay, what else I can show you? So. I think that's pretty much it. So, you know, you can try this out. Like, you know, I will also try to upload it to, uh, to the Firebase uh, and you can see if you like this code, you know what you can do. I'll highly recommend you can just download this code um, and uh, I'll show you in next videos, I'll show you how you can install it in your uh, personal cloud or how to make an iOS app and things like that. Um, but if you are interested, you know, go ahead and download this repository. Give me a thumbs up, please. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, if if you're a developer, you don't need to watch the like rest of the video series. You can just go download the entire source code. But if you are new and if you are interested in the code, like probably in next follow-up videos, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, uh, like, you know, do some code walkthrough sessions um, so that you can, you know, see how to make changes to this application.